Hello Aquarius, welcome back to your monthly Zodiac readings. This is Rise O'Farrell here from risestarot.blogspot.com. If you'd like a private reading with me or like to get a hold of me, please check out my link below. It takes you to my blog site or you can write me to my address. This should be up here somewhere and also check out the I that has um, my readings now that I offer. I have revamped it here lately. So it has some new readings now that I didn't offer before, so you might want to check that out. I'm going to be checking the energies for the sign of Aquarius for the month of April, and this will um, cover the general energies for the sun signs that are Aquarius, the rising signs, and the moon signs that are Aquarius. Also, Aquarius, if you would like a well-rounded reading, you need to listen to the other videos that are your rising sign and your moon sign so that you can get a well-rounded reading for your sign for the month of April. Okay, um, I don't know if you guys remember or not, for those of you that are my regulars, um, last month I started a new format of readings for the Zodiac readings. So your first three cards are going to represent the general energies for the sign of Aquarius for the month of April. The next three cards are going to represent the singles that are Aquarius for the month of April. The last three cards will represent the ones that are in a relationship, married or have been dating someone. At the end of the reading I'll try to pull all the cards together so it gives you a general reading, Aquarius for the month of April for all of you together. Okay, the first card that you have showing here is the Sun card. So some of you are going to receive some really great news when it comes to your romantic life or some area of your life that's going to really bring out the passions in you. Okay, maybe some of you are traveling to a warm place. Maybe some of you get some good news when it comes to a home. Some of you may be expecting children. Some of you are getting news perhaps your children are having babies uh, whatever it is it's very nurturing it's very warming it's very passionate you're going to feel young again you're going to feel happy so something new is going to come about in your life a new cycle perhaps that opens up for you guys this month Aquarius it's going to pull you out of this poverty mind that you have Perhaps something new awakens in your mind and you're thinking, oh no, I don't have to be thinking about this anymore. This is a thought of being left out in the cold, perhaps family, perhaps people at work, perhaps an old lover. Maybe you feel, wow, you know, they've forgotten me, they don't care about me, they've left me out in the cold. Um, when it comes to work as well, maybe you feel your finances are not enough. You have that poverty mind type personality. You need to break away from this Aquarius because this really doesn't allow you for prosperity to flow into your life when it comes to romance or finances or home life, whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. By having this type of mentality where nobody loves me, the woe is me considerations of yourself, it's like, oh, everybody's against me or they don't include me in things. This has to go the sooner the better okay so that you can see oops the sunshine in your life okay you want that you don't want that poverty mind you may work very hard at achieving some good news in your life some work perhaps some of you may have uh, applied at a new place and maybe you're getting some good news Maybe you will be hired at this new place. Maybe that poverty mind is the way you were thinking prior to this new job coming around. You're going to be working very hard at it. You may actually meet a new person for some of you that are single at this new job. For those of you that are single, you're going to get an invitation. Something new is going to come about. There's a new idea that you are very much in control of. I mean, you could have a little rocky 
ships back here in the background where your emotions might be a little flustered but you have this wonderful new idea that will bring you prosperity that that comes up and you're like hey look at me I have a brand new idea that is going to make me very very happy this could also represent a water sign that comes into your life they may be a bit younger than you or a little less experienced when it comes to relationships but nonetheless He's offering a cup, he's offering a date, he's offering to take you out, or she, okay, doesn't have to be a he. And in the middle of the month you have this little feeling where you've been betrayed either by this new person that took you out or this is your mentality from the past because this card was right below the five of pentacles which is that poverty thinking which is that um, I'm left out in the cold perhaps some of your own thoughts have betrayed you in the past and this is the energy that you need to break away from as it is the ten of swords it's the last one in the suit you are starting to come out of this now okay it's not an energy that will remain in your life this one here tells me that you're about to change okay because the fives are all about change so this poverty mind this this poor me attitude or and I, don't get mad at me guys okay because you may have this uh, maybe this doesn't apply to everyone this is a general reading this will apply to some people and they're going to say okay you know if you dare to admit how you feel okay because sometimes they don't and everyone gets insulted oh my god but my my readings can't always be positive and and sometimes they are you know they stay pretty positive and I try to be upbeat but sometimes the cards when they show me certain situations you need to you need to open up you know and see if perhaps you have been thinking this or you have been feeling like you're left out in the cold about something about a relationship about a friendship it could be family but these people are all in relationships with you. Everyone that you know, people at work, your neighbors, your friends, your BFF, old lovers, people that you're just meeting, they're all in relationships with you. And this reading covers relationships. So if you feel that you're being left out in the cold about something or other, or you feel that you have been betrayed or backstabbed or you've done it to yourself, because sometimes we do. Our own thoughts betray us. We betray ourselves. It's not always another person. And it'll make us feel alone, left out in the cold, okay? This is about to leave you. These energies are going away. The sun is telling me that some things are going to change. You're going to get an invitation from someone. You're going to start new ideas. New passions are going to be flowing through you. You're going to get this creative new, you know, idea that's going to take you places. Some of you, it's a job that you've applied for. You're going to work really hard at it, but you may meet a new person at this new job that you've applied for. You're moving your life forward. You're getting away from that poverty mind. You're getting away from the, the thoughts of being betrayed by others and or betraying yourself with your own thinking, with your own limitations. Okay. So good luck to you. Your third card is something new that begins, again, in the financial sector. You may be meeting an earth sign as well, someone new that comes in. Maybe you're learning something new because of this new job that you've applied to, that you're going to get hired at, okay? And you're learning something new, everything is new, fresh, and there's a new person that comes along that blows you away, and you're like, oh my god, I'm so damn happy. Good luck, Aquarius. For those of you that are married or in a relationship, you're going to have a wish that comes through, or you're going to be going out partying a lot, celebrating all your good luck. <laughs> so watch out for excess because there are nine cups here this is also the wish card so there's something that you have wished for that's going to bring a new experience into your life that you're going to love and it's going to bring the sun with lots of passions and lots of new things that you'll be able to plan now because you're getting something that you have wanted for a very long time okay it's going to be just it's going to bring balance into your life this is also representing a Libra so maybe there's a Libra involved in this or maybe this is just representing you after all you are an air sign and this is the justice card this is bringing balance into your life so what this new wish will bring into your life and into your spouse's life because this is the married and the ones in a relationship is bringing balance this new wish is bringing balance into your life and it's just okay it's in the proper timing it's being brought on by the universe because this is a major arcana card 
you're being judged fairly as well. Maybe some of you are getting married because it is justice. You're signing contracts, marriage contracts, house contracts, and new babies coming along. So it could be many things that something that you have wished for that is going to materialize for you guys because you have gone through a lot. You have gone through a lot of experiences that have hurt you, that have made you feel like, shit, there's just no tomorrow. But this card represents a happier tomorrow. It represents all of these struggles and thoughts going away. All this poverty mind thinking, this pain, this feeling alone is going to disappear because that's going to go away now with this new opportunity that comes into your life through another person, through a job, through something that you have uh, gone out and brought about yourself, you know, because you're not sitting on your laurels. You are going out and making things happen, okay? This represents as well a Leo that may come into your lives. Some of you may be involved with a Leo. Some of you need to bring a lot of strength into your, into your resolve, into your life. This new situation is going to make you feel stronger. Some of you may be healing from a sickness, from something that has happened. This is the card of good health. It's a card of healing. It's the card of having strength. It's the card of curbing your animalistic instincts of bringing balance into your personality, balancing your anger, balancing your forward movement, balancing who you truly are, and being kind and loving, okay, to others. This represents a Leo as well, guys, so maybe there's a Leo that comes into some of your lives and changes it and helps you somehow move you forward, all right? So you guys are looking at a really happy month. Let's see, another flying cards. I've had all kinds of flying cards for about a week now. I've had to bend over. I think they're trying to tell me that I need to exercise more because of bending over constantly to pick up a card. Some of you are going to be reconciling with someone from the past, either an old lover, an old friend, an old family member that comes back into your life to bring you a new emotional experience. And some things are new. You may go to this new job and find that you run into an old lover or someone that you used to know from the past. You two hit it off. You make good friends. Some of you will make good lovers. Some of you have a lover that's coming in from the past. Some of you are with a soulmate. A karmic soulmate from the past as this represents karma as well, as balancing out old karma from the past. So some of you will be doing that this month. Someone new that comes in or someone that you just happened on to run into and it's an old lover from the past where you'll be balancing some of that karma, some of your debt off. And you need to be pretty strong when you run into this person. Because for some of you, they're coming to stay. For some of you, they're only coming to balance out that karma. It may be a bit painful. It may bring back old memories where you were betrayed, where you were stabbed in the back, where you did feel like you were alone. But once you balance out the karma, the sun will shine on you again and you will get a wish that comes true. Some of you may remain with this person because it was someone that you love very much. But it just wasn't the right time. Okay. One more card, Aquarius. See what the Gateway Oracle has to say for you guys. What advice do they have for you? Ha! There went your card. Oh my goodness. Communicate freely. When this new person comes in, make sure that you tell them exactly what's on your mind. Him, her, they, whoever it is. Make sure that communication flows. Did you tell them exactly who you are now, how much you have grown, the things that you have done, the seeds you have planted, how far you have come, and you tell them exactly how you feel. You, Because you have gone from night to day. You have changed. So your communication has to flow freely. I communicate from the depth of my being. So you're going to be allowing your soul to come out through your conversation with others. You're going to be very communicative this month and you're going to be expressing to others exactly how you feel, who you truly are, how they've made you feel, how you don't want to ever feel again, 
how you would like to be treated. You are planting some seeds and there is growth that's showing and it's beautiful growth. So you are showing others how lovely you truly are, how much you have grown. All the things you have been through, how they have changed you, Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, I hope you have enjoyed this reading. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so desire. Also, thumbs up my video because that helps me move up in the ranks on YouTube. I also have a donation button on the About Me section in YouTube. So if you desire to um, donate to me, any amount of donation will be greatly appreciated. I do love you guys, and thanks for watching. And... Um, I'll talk to you again next month. Bye for now.